Today we're checking out the Klipsch Heritage HP3 headphones. Now like all of Klipsch's Heritage gear, these are designed to celebrate the company's long standing in audio, and for a lot of reasons they do a great job of that. Let's take a look at the design here. These are made out of some impressive materials, including solid steel for the band, we've got cowhide on top, and then here are the chambers, which are triple vented and semi-open, we've got wooden chambers here. It's pretty impressive to use wood, and it also is supposed to help with the sound. Now taking a closer look, we've got some nice padding up top, and then we've got a lot of padding here on these huge ear pads, which are removable. Now underneath there are some cool things going on as well. These are the special 52 millimeter drivers. They're made of biocellulose and synthetic materials, and they also have a rubber surround. Now these are actually designed to sound more like Klipsch speakers, and they do that in more ways than one. But first, let's take a look at some of the accessories you'll get with these headphones, which cost $1,200, so they better have some cool stuff coming along with them. The first thing you notice when they show up is this huge wooden case, which is actually designed to match the wood on the headphones. They come in three different colors, and we imagine the cases do too, although we only have the one to look at here. Now you can see they come riding under glass with these cool straps, and then inside are a fair amount of accessories. One thing you'll get that you won't get with a lot of headphones is this nice solid steel stand. It's really easy to put together and it looks great on the mantle. You'll also get two braided cables, including this removable one, which is six feet long, and then another removable 4.5 foot cable as well, if that's too long for you. One really cool thing about the cables, it comes, as you see, with this quarter inch termination, but it's actually got a 3.5 millimeter sort of snuck in there. It's a really cool design, and we haven't really seen that before. It almost looks like it's only a quarter inch, but there's a 3.5 millimeter waiting for you. Now that's by design because the HP3 are also meant to be driven by your smartphone. They have a 25 ohm impedance rating, so they're really easy to drive. But of course, at $1,200, we recommend you use a headphone amplifier to get the most out of the sound. Now when it comes to the sound, as mentioned, these headphones are designed to emulate Klipsch speakers, and that means they have a really sizzly, sort of brassy, and exciting upper register, and then they have a great amount of bass, really powerful, though most of the time it doesn't get in the way. The two combined leads to a really exciting sound, as we said, sort of lively, powerful, and the only thing that we might say was just a little bit of a quibble for us is that sometimes the upper bass can have a resonance that gets a little bit in the way of the sound signature. But other than that, these are an amazingly detailed, clear, and lively sound. In fact, the upper register has some of the most nuance, detail, and definition that we've heard in a headphone at this class, or even above. Now we know that $1,200 is a lot to spend on a pair of headphones, but if you're an audiophile who's been looking for something a little bit different, the HP3 just might fit that bill. They've got a very cool design, they're comfortable, great and unique sound, and they're an awesome way to celebrate Klipsch's long history in the audio realm.